Hello and welcome to a Teaching Tech Tidbit. In this video we're going to explore how we can use Onshape to create 2D vectors for laser cutting instead of alternative software such as Illustrator or Inkscape. My students undertake a project where they need to design an A4 puzzle. Previously I've taught them to do this using an equivalent of Illustrator. The silly thing is they've already learnt Onshape at the start of the term, but it actually makes a lot more sense to get them to do the puzzle vectors in Onshape as well. First thing we're going to do is to start a sketch on the top plane and then our favourite keyboard shortcuts are P to hide the plane and N to spin the camera to the normal. Next we're going to draw a rectangle, doesn't really matter where it is but I'll anchor mine from the corner. And we're going to set it to the size of our paper. So for A4 that is 297 by 210. We can press the F key to fit this back. Now we can consider this our canvas and any lines that we want the laser to follow we simply have to draw them on with the normal 2D geometry tools. That is using the 2D sketching tools such as the line tool, the three point arc tool, the spline tool to create simple geometry which will then be cut by the laser. So I'll do a quick one here, this one might be a little bit like glass being shattered. I'm going to pay close attention to make sure I'm snapping everything together otherwise when the laser cutting is done I might find that it's not a clean cut and I have to manually cut things out afterwards with scissors or by tearing it and that defeats the purpose of the whole thing. A reminder for my students that they are aiming for exactly 20 pieces so they need to double check and count them. In a design like this it's actually quite easy to count but if you have a more complicated design you're going to find that a lot harder so double check, be sure, get the highest mark that you can. Just to show that it does work with arcs as well, I'm going to add some in. And basically we create our design like so, and then when we're done we hit the tick. And now what we can do is right click on our sketch and go to export as DXF DWG. Our version doesn't really matter, most software seems to be happy with release 14, and most software also seems to be happy with DXF or DWG. But DXF is generally more universal for laser cutting and is the preferred choice. Always give your file name something that makes sense, perhaps with your name in it. Then you'll have a file that's ready to send off and be laser cut. So the second style might be more of a traditional puzzle with even sized pieces and interlocking segments. So I'm going to delete this and create that style now. Once again we sketch, we do so on the top plane and we start by having a rectangle that we set to A4 dimensions. So once again they are 297 and this is of course landscape but you could have it portrait as well, you just need to swap these two dimensions around. 210. Okay if we were to have a rectangle perhaps we're aiming for 20 pieces so what we could do is have a series of rectangles here. We're going to use our constraints here, we're going to click ahead of time on the base of each of these rectangles and then come up to the equals button and it's going to space them out perfectly for us. Yeah. Once again we're going to pre-select all of the vertical components for one row and then come up to equals. We have a pretty perfect grid and we're ready to apply some other effects. So a really simple way to do it is to come up to the circle button and then we need to do it from the center so I'm going to come out and I'm going to draw a circle and I'll just do one or two of these because you'll get the idea really quickly. Maybe some smaller ones next. You could also do this with triangles or any other polygon shape that we have here. Now we have the simple job to clean it up, to come up to the trim tool and delete the portions that we don't want. So generally that's going to be this piece and this piece. And we can see with not much investment in time and not really learning any particularly tricky skills, we could continue this and build up a puzzle. Once again to export it, we close our sketch, we right click and come to export as DXF slash DWG. We set it to DXF, we give it a file name that actually makes sense, click the export and we can send that off to be laser cut. Just to show you another way that it can be done, we can also do it from 3D geometry. 
So to achieve this, we click a face to select it, and then we can right click. And once again, we have the export as DXF DWG. Because we've selected just a 2D face, it will do 2D geometry, because sometimes you can have 3D geometry in either of these file formats. So there you are, a step to save you from learning an entirely new vector-based graphics program and a way of doing it that's really efficient and quick. Happy puzzle making and happy laser cutting. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.